Well, hello there, welcome back to my channel. It is, of course, Chelsea of She Designs Things. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to use a member portal inside of Google Sites <laughs> effectively. All right, so if you'd like to know more, then stay tuned. All right, so this was a question I had received and I have been uh, working on making a video, but then I decided I wanted to make this kind of shorter video explaining specifically what they're asking. Just says, hi, Chelsea, can you share a video on how to create a membership area on Google Sites? Thanks for your videos. And I did respond by saying, sure thing. I just need to know what you'd like to see in the member area. Um, and then they said, is there a way to limit who can access the site with a login feature? I know Google Sites has its limits, but I like using it and they really like the ease of use when it comes to Google Sites and the login is what they're not sure about how to do. And I said, Google is the login feature. Um, you can share a site with anyone as long as they are invited, including non-Gmail accounts. I need to specify this part. <laughs> um, that is for workspace accounts only, okay? And I will share with you where that's located. And then they said, okay, they get that, thanks. And then they asked about the login button that I have on a separate site. So I'm going to show you, show you exactly how these things work together um, and how you can use it to create your Google site. All right, so this is pretty much how this process is going to work. I set up this thanks page. Thank you for joining program name. And then we're so excited to have you in the next couple of minutes. You'll be getting a few emails with access to the vault or whatever you want to call your program. So I'm going to just go back inside of my Google sites so I can share with you what this will look like. You have to have this on your forward facing site. So here is my forward facing site for Lachey. And this is what it looks like. You all should be pretty much familiar with Lachey at this point. I am going to add this new page. So I am just going to go at the bottom, click add a new page, and I'm going to just call this page um, capital member uh, login. And now I'm going to click done. Great. So now I have the member login page. Now I did just copy you know, this section from my other Google site. So I'm just going to paste it here just so you can see what it looks like. I am going to take this, delete it, take this, drag it up and adjust it so that it's over to the dead center. I don't want the header to be um, this large banner. I am going to do like the cover. I want it to just be a large banner and maybe I don't want it to be this um, gift that I have in the background. Maybe I want it to be exactly the same as my template. So to do that, I'll simply just upload the template, the that particular um, image template. All right, so I've gone ahead and uploaded that image to my main site. Now you see here, I do have this link that says to log in. Now, in order for this link to work, you just need to get the link from your actual site. The, the portal that you're using. So I'm back inside of my member site. I'm just gonna copy the link here and then I'm gonna go back over to my regular Google site. I'm gonna click edit link. I'm gonna paste that link in here, update the link so that whenever a member clicks on this, it will open up and take them to that member portal. So I'm going to click publish now just so you can see what the change will do. Now, as you see, I do have it opened up here. It says member login in the top. And then if I click on the login, it actually brings up that dashboard. Now, because I'm inside of my browser and I'm active in here, this is the editor browser, you won't be able to see what your members will see. So I created a Yahoo account for this reason, just to show you exactly what um, a member will see what that process will be like for them. Someone who is a non Gmail account user will need to have a visitor access. And this is what that will look like. So first, here is what it looks like incognito with nobody logged into any account. This is my forward facing account. So member login is right across the top login button. Someone clicks on it. They have no access to it. It's going to say to sign in using your Google account. 
Now, obviously, I did say that you can share your member portal with non Google users. So as long as you have a workspace account, and that is why I created that Yahoo account. So I am logged into the Yahoo account. I am going to just minimize this just so you can see. And here I have my member portal. And I am just going to go to the regular member site, just so you can see it. And as actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the whole process from start to finish. Let's close this process. So here I am logged into that Yahoo account and I am going to click the link that I sent basically to myself that says, Hey, here is access to the Google site. When I click open, it's going to say that I'm going to have to verify the email and it's going to send a verification code to my Yahoo account email. I will need to put that verification code in, in order to start my visitors session. So now I am logged in technically into the member portal, which is the first thing that opens, but I decided to close it just so you can see now what happens that I'm logged in. I'm going to click the login button and now it takes me directly to my member portal. So this is how you share it with that non Gmail account in the same process for a Gmail account user as well. So this member portal is restricted. It cannot be shared with, you know, anyone all willy nilly and you can set a timer on it. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. So here inside of the actual member portal, I have my she designs things. I am the owner and then my Yahoo account, which is a published viewer. The site itself is restricted, so nobody else has access to it except for those that I invite. Now, this again, being a published viewer, um, I believe you can add an expiration date for published viewers as well. So let me see if I can go ahead and add an expiration date of, let's see, I'm going to say today at, <laughs> what time is a good time? Three o'clock, click done, save, and let's just see how that works out. All right, so now you see it's definitely going to expire and remove access to this account, so I'm not going to continue with it, but you get the point. So if you wanted to create a membership site or member portal that had, say, a year of access or six months of access or three months of access, it is something you could definitely set up inside of your Google site. And then once it expires, it expires. You can also set up a separate automation. I'm not going... I. I cannot tell you how to set up your automation because I do not know how I would set up my automation for this. But technically, say someone signs up, you give them access, say on today, which for me right now is June 14th, 2023, and you want to give them um, access to your course, say for a month. And then on July 14th, it expires or July 15th, it expires. And then say they want to uh, renew it for another month because you're offering promotion. If you have set up an email automation that aligns with this um, expiration date, that's a little bit of a different process. It's something you can, you know, create as well. Now, I don't know presently how to automate this process for your Google site. Sorry, this is going to have to be a manual thing for you. Um, <laughs> it is just not something that I know how to automate at this time and I just haven't figured out a way to do it. If I do, I will definitely, definitely tell all of you, but I do hope that this video while short was helpful in helping you understand the whole purpose of that login page that I created for this member portal. Technically you would not use it in the actual member portal. You would use it on your, um, on your actual website so you should only have two websites your member portal and then your live website that is facing everyone your member portal should be restricted across everything restricted and again you can share your member portal with pretty much any account including non gmail account users so as long as you have a Google Workspace account, and let me get the specifics for you and I'll make sure I leave the details down below. So here are the specifics. Allow sharing to non-Google users with visitor sharing. And it just tells you how this 
works. It's for business standard and business plus enterprise education, education t standard teaching, learning upgrade. You pretty much get the point. Everybody with the exception of business starter, business starters do not have this option. So if you're on that business starter plan, that's like $6 a month. You're going to have to come up if you want to be able to share it with a non Gmail account user. And then also it does have to be something that is turned on. It is not turned on automatically. So make sure you follow the instructions that are listed um, on this page, which again, I will share in the description box below. All right. I do hope you guys found this video helpful. Thanks again so much for watching. And of course, see ya.